And let's get more reaction to that sensational goal for the men's eight. Our senior reporter Geraint Hughes joins half of the team now. Team GB's regatta, we're not too far from the rowing lake, has been spectacular. From Tokyo, where it was down there with just two medals here, eight medals, the best ever overseas haul for Team GB uh, in rowing. I've got the final boat. Well, at least four of them. That'll do. Of the nine of you who are there, the eight rowers and obviously the Cox as, as well. Uh, congratulations, first of all. Can we just see these medals? Can you just hold them up? Because the gold is shining in the sunshine. They're pretty good, aren't they? Jakey, I'm going to start with you, if I can. Um, when you had that in your, just your couple of fingers there, what does that feel like to hold that gold medal? Heavy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're good, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I just keep saying this to everyone that's asked me that question. Um, I don't know how I feel. Like, yeah. it's just complete whirlwind. Uh, whole range of emotions. Yeah. Can't put it into words. Well, come on to you, Charlie. Mm. See, if you, see if you can give us an idea. I understand why, because we've seen what you put your bodies through. And I know it's sort of six minutes of whirlwind nature, but mm. how much does that mean to you to have that gold medal around you next? I mean, it just means the world. It's, you know, years and years of hard training have gone into this. And this is now what we have to show for it. And, you know, it's, it's not just what we've done. It's what our friends and family have sacrificed over the years for us. Massive sacrifices um, that have all gone into this. And it's just incredible to be able to, to give something back. Sholto, come to you. What, what does this mean for you as well? You know, we, again, we've seen what goes in to just getting to, the, to that. So it's, not, it's not just those six minutes on the lake in the final. What does this mean for you? How can you sum this up into words, what having that round your neck means for you? It's pretty special. I mean, I was the other side of it in uh, Tokyo, mm. narrowly missed out on a medal. And the process of rebuilding, coming together, forming this crew, and just, just the hours that have gone in, both technically, physically, mental preparation. I mean, I can't quite believe it. It's just, it just feels amazing. <laughs> it's like, and, and you're just Olympic champion, and it doesn't feel real. I think it will take quite a while for this to sink in. But oh, I, I can guarantee you, you are an Olympic champion. <laughs> <laughs> if you let me. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say it again, you're an Olympic champion, you're a gold medalist. Harry, listen, you get a slightly different perspective on things, but what, what are sort of your emotions when you see these lads in front of you? Yeah, when the start buzzer goes, I sort of go into autopilot a little bit, trying to read the race, deliver tactics, uh, offer some choice words of motivation um can you keep those to yourself but yeah i think i was just so focused on how we were rowing and how we were moving as i'm sure these guys are as well like i wasn't really sort of too focused about the end result it was only really till i crossed the finish line that i just let the wave of emotions sort of mm. literally jump through me and i just had to stand up on my feet and take a look at all these boys faces and take in that moment of See, seeing them smiling coming across the finish line. I think he, he did pr pretty well not to fall in, actually, yeah. with the way the bit you're talking about there. Listen, Cloto, can I come back to you as well? Um, just in terms of the, the camaraderie between you, the, the bond that's between there, how, how strong is that when you have to get to an Olympic final? So strong. It's like complete trust down the shell. We've all grown up together. Me and Charlie went to university together, same with Tom Digby. We've all been to under 23s. Um, we've known each other since we were teenagers and to go through the process together really, really just is so special because we're all, we're all like just such good mates. Mm -hmm. um, and when we're racing, it's just like, just Harry has just like complete control and we just buy into what he says and he just calls the race so well. It's, mm -hmm. uh, it's sort of, there's times when you're racing and Harry makes a call and it sh sends shivers down your spine just because you're just like, I want to do this for the lads. I want to do this for, for the men around me. To the layperson, that looked utterly dominant. Although I understand you're not happy with the first stroke, so uh, I know, I know. <laughs> that wasn't but, yeah, it. Wasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't so it. These guys are all In right. terms of, it looks utterly dominant when we look at it. Do you know that you're? I think you are that dominant. I think you know we train a lot to to look straight down the boat. You don't look either. You don't look left. You don't look right. You look straight down the How boat. To do and you, that. I and, couldn't do that. And honestly, you haven't. I didn't really have any idea what was going on. Yeah. Um, in terms of where the other boats were. It was only when I looked over two straights before the line where I thought, you yeah, know, we're going to win this. We're going to become Olympic champions. Um, and I think it's probably credit to Harry because it is very, very easy to look out of the boat, but he keeps us very, very switched on. He's constantly updating us on what's happening around us. 
which gives us the ability to just fully concentrate on, on the rowing and, and looking straight down the boat. Final question, final question, an answer to you, Jake, but hopefully not too much of a difficult one. <laughs> it's done. It's done. You've completed the journey. You've done what you came here to do. You get to let your hair down. Can you let your hair down tonight? B, don't, <laughs> watch your language. <laughs> Can you let go now? Enjoy yourselves tonight? Well, this is like what I was saying earlier about the mixed emotions. Like, um, yeah, I've yeah. wanted this for as long as I can remember. But what it marks is the end of a very special um, time that we've had together. Um, and yeah, I'm sure we'll, be, we'll, we'll all have a few pints and kick our feet up. And <laughs> None of us yeah. have any hair left. Yeah. Tonight, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't, yeah. It's a, it's a front shot, not a t- uh, shot yeah. above. But, um, yeah, no, that we'll, we'll enjoy tonight. I think it's emotion to say it all, don't you? Listen, have a, have a fantastic evening this evening. Congratulations. Thank you Absolutely very much. congratulations. Brilliant. The, I've got part, I haven't got them all, but I've got some of the men's out. I don't think we've, I don't think we've got a garden big enough to do it in. But listen, congratulations to you. Fully deserved dominant display and have a very, very good evening in Paris tonight.